Hey y'all. So I had a question the other day. Um, it's been a couple days, I guess, about um, tips for a lasting and long-term marriage. Um, things are very different today than when I met my husband in 2002. Um, February 18th will be our 21 years together. We've been married 19 of those years. Um, it's not always an easy thing. We are not perfect, but when we got married, we meant our vows. They were something that we took seriously. We've grown older together. We married in our 20s. We're in our 40s now. Um, we spent that time building um, a life together, intertwined with one another. Um, we don't have secrets. We literally come home from work and just chill out together. Um, we eat meals together. I cook. Um, not always great, like, it's huge meals. Um, but I set the coffee pot for my husband so he can grab his um, coffee on the way out the door in the morning. And whatever I cook for dinner, I make uh, lunch for him to take the next day. I'm a very part-time worker. He is the sole breadwinner of this family. We are a traditional family. The only reason that I work outside the house now is because our youngest is 10 and is in school now. Um, there's a lot I could tell you. I, I think there's no mystery left. I think dating has become just this crap shoot for men and women. Um, but when you meet on apps, you really have no idea who you're meeting. It could be anybody. Picture could be 20 years old for all you know. Um, the great thing about being Gen X is that a lot of the stupid crap we did when we were younger is not online for all of eternity. Um, I was not perfect. Um, but I, I think that what you see today is a lack of modesty there is no modesty there is no mystery out in the world anymore um i don't consider myself an old lady but i mean i'm older i'm not in the prime of my life anymore and that's okay um my husband and i are comfortable with each other that's one of the great things about a long-term relationship is you really get to know each other what you like and don't like um and then when you surprise them and they appreciate it it's great so many times I've seen these videos where a girl is lucky enough to be taken out on a date and it's not good enough it's not good enough you know what my husband and my first date date actually was we had chili cheese fries from checkers yeah yeah it wasn't about the money and how many how, how much money he made um I had been a bartender and I met him at the bar that I worked at and we just kind of talked for a while. We were like friendly, not really friends, but friendly, you know. And then one night, um, his friends wanted to party. I was off work. I was just hanging out, sitting there, having a couple drinks. And he was sitting next to me. We got to talking and he asked if I could give him a ride home. And I did. And literally, we've been together ever since. Ever since. Um, something clicked. And sometimes when you know, you know. Um it was rocky because I'd come out of a really toxic, really bad, abusive relationship. So it took a while for me to actually let the walls down and trust him that he was going to be there for me. Um, but from that night, I gave him a ride. There has not been anybody else in my life. It, it was him and me against the world. We literally started with nothing. And at one point we were unhoused together I guess you could say when we first got out of the army it took us a while to get our footing together yeah um but what is a good key that I can give you date with intention that's a good one um so many people are just out to get laid and that's not gonna lead anywhere good it really isn't um there are ways that you can be intimate without intercourse Ooh. You know, I don't know if YouTube likes those words, but there are ways that you can be intimate that will potentially create a problem like a child or a disease. Um, sex is not the be all end all. Being together, talking, getting to know one another is so important. Um, but hey, if you don't want to get married and you don't care about your reputation and you're not worried about your future children seeing you naked on the Internet, do you? Um but it doesn't go away. What you put on the internet does not go away. And I think if more people, mostly women, kept that in mind, um, 
they would do a lot better in life. Honestly, I, I think that. Um, and I, I really want to get more into this because men today seem to be getting the short end of the stick. Um, feminism was supposed to be about being equal, not superior to men. And that's all I see now. Um, so many videos trashing men. Can I give you a little tip? We need men. The world needs men. Okay. If every man on the planet collectively as a group decided to take the same single one day off from work, just one day, do you have any idea how fast the world would collapse? Do you? Probably not. But if they did that, you'd find out. Um, most of the electricians, the, the people that run the stock exchange, the um, all the trash pickup, most of every job that you take for granted every single day is done by men. And if every man took one day off, it would suck for me. But I can tell you, some of these women might change their tune real quick. We need men. Okay? All right. Peace.